Nevada Geothermal is a geothermal energy company that is a developer of alternate energy projects. We have a very strong team of people taking the board of directors and the employees at the company. We have some strong skills in the three key areas of geology, finance and project management. Blue Mountain is by far the most exciting resource that's been discovered in Nevada in many years and maybe the most exciting to be discovered in the U.S. in many years. This project involves drilling 10 to 12 geothermal wells. Six of those wells will be production and the remaining wells will be injection wells. It also involves building a 40 megawatt geothermal plant and lastly it involves building a 21 mile electric transmission line from the power plant to the Nevada grid. The power plant we're building is an ORMAT binary power plant. Essentially we bring the hot water from the production, geothermal production wells into the plant and run them through a heat exchanger which heats a secondary working fluid which drives a turbine to generate electricity. The water after it goes through the heat exchanger is cool and that water is pumped back to injection wells where it is reheated and comes back in the form of hot water. Geothermal power is basically one of the desirable renewable uh, energy sources that the state of Nevada is trying to get developed. The advantage of geothermal over other technologies is it's a, a base load power source that operates 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Around the United States, about 50% of the states have renewable energy programs. In Nevada, the renewable energy program requires 20% production of renewable energy by 2015. Currently the project is on schedule. The ORMAT is the uh, EPC contractor for the power plant only. They started construction per the schedule. The transmission line contract has been let and that will be completed by mid-year. And then lastly the wells, we fully expect the wells and the uh, gathering system to be finished by the third quarter of next year. I think TCW recognized quickly that this was a relatively low risk project that had a very attractive return and I think their expertise in the area allowed them to recognize that this project with its power purchase contract with Nevada Power, with its fixed price contracts under construction, with the drilling 80% completed, represented a relatively low risk project from which a relatively good return could be had. For us, I would say this is a beachhead project. This is our first project and this, is, this certainly has to go extremely well. But we do have three geothermal properties beyond the property that we're developing at this point in time. We also have expansion opportunities right at this property. Two things have converged. One is that energy prices have gone much higher than they were in the past. And the world is at a point where we need to have less of a footprint environmentally when we consume and use energy. And this type of project accomplishes both objectives. It has very low emissions and produces energy at a very attractive cost. Today in the sage deserts of northern Nevada sits a project that is hot. The company, Nevada Geothermal Power or NGP, is working to realize their dream of producing clean 21st century energy. The NGP is developing geothermal projects throughout the U.S., including the Blue Mountain Project, located 20 miles west of Winnemucca, Nevada. After years of exploration and development, the dream is almost complete with the construction of Phase 1 a 49.5 megawatt geothermal power plant called Faulkner One at Blue Mountain. Power will be electrifying the grid in the last quarter of 2009. Hi, my name's Mark. I'm the operations manager for Nevada Geothermal Power. And behind me is Nevada Geothermal Power's Blue Mountain Faulkner One geothermal plant. It's a 50 megawatt gross, 40 megawatt net binary plant. This is a bird's eye view of the Blue Mountain project. Uh, some of the well pads you see closest to us here are the production part of the field. Um, we have six production wells here. And then 
there's the, the power block, and then on the other side of the power block is the injection part of the well field. You can see that we have one drill rig drilling an injection well, and the other drill rig is rigging up to drill the last injection well. NGP has accomplished major milestones at Blue Mountain with the construction of the power plant, cooling tower, and switch yard. With transmission poles snaking along the horizon, the Blue Mountain Geothermal Plant is finally taking shape. NGP has completed all six production wells which provide enough energy for the power plant. Two injection wells are also finished with two more currently being drilled. One of the things, as you know, that has been great about the Blue Mountain system, it's, it's blind. It started out as mining. They were looking for gold. They found gold, but it's not economic and they kept running into the hot water. And that's how we were able to develop the geothermal out here. Took it from some thermal gradient holes to some slim wells funded by the U.S. Department of Energy, which outlined the success of Blue Mountain, confirmed our reservoir, and then we started with our full-blown production drilling in the summer of 2006. So here we are, for a small company, it's amazing how quickly we've gone from a few drill holes in the ground to full-blown. The production drilling's done, we're working on our injection drilling, and you've seen the plant. That's the well right there, 26A14. Um, we've got it controlled by a master valve and a working valve, and then coming off the top of it is what you call a flow tee. Now that flow tee then sends the water in the direction of the two-phase separator um, through through the, through, through the bluey line, it's controlled by two valves. These two valves are used to throttle the well back. Um, as you can see right now, there's a little bit of carryover due to the, the small size of the separator. So these two valves are used to throttle the well back and control it if we see any kicks that come through it. Right now, currently the temperature is probably about 374, and so it's, uh, it's pretty hot. So there's obviously some safety issues with it. Um, as it goes through, uh, the, the larger spool, as you call it, uh, past those valves. It's called a test spool. We use those to monitor the pressure, line pressure, line temperature, and there's also two ports that you can do two-phase sampling steam for sampling for steam and sampling for water. Um, then goes up through a 45 degree elbow into a tube called a James tube. That, at the end of that James tube is a uh, another pressure pressure tubing that will give you the lip pressure, which will, when you put all of these readings together, it will give you a total enthalpy of the well, total output. Um, next it goes into the separator where you can see the steam separating out of the top and the water separating out of the bottom. The water that comes out of the bottom goes into, the, into this box called a weir box where you can measure the flow rate and, um, and do also do some additional water sampling through there if you like. With the production drilling completed, there are enough megawatts to feed the geothermal plant rated at 49.5 megawatt gross and a net of 39.5 megawatt. There's the cooling tire structure. It's a plastic structure. All this black material that's all around, they call that fill. And basically it's going to go inside the, the cooling tire. So when the water goes up to the top, it splashes down, it hits the fill, it, it, it splashes. And so the air, when we're sucking the air in, it gets more contact with the air so that the cooling process is more efficient. So all that black material is going to be stuck inside that, those, those structures when they get ready. This is, this is a generator. We've walked by the other two. And on each end will be a turbine. And, and this one is the level one turbine. And, and associated with each turbine will be preheaters and a vaporizer. And then the condensers. So the, the fluid, the, wa the hot water comes in on the other end, heats the, the vapor, or the liquid up to make it a vapor. The vapor comes over, runs through the turbine. The vapor then goes back up to the, it goes out up to the condensers, where it's condensed back to a liquid, pumped, and goes around in circles. The switch yard where Nevada Energy is going to hook up to the geothermal power plant is nearing completion and 21 miles of transmission poles are already installed with high voltage line ready to be strung. All the foundations have been laid with condensers installed and generators and heat exchangers completed. The power plant is really taking shape. Number one is going to put Humboldt County and Winnemucca on the map, which is um, what better opportunities can we have to have 
this project here and be successful generating power and then other people can see that we are a viable place for not only geothermal, for green energy, but for business in general. The power plant will be up and running and producing green energy by the end of this year. The NGP Blue Mountain Geothermal Project is well on the road to revenue. To follow this and other projects, please go to www.NevadaGeothermal.com.